The Vickers Light 105, the last of the British light tanks this time in TRX, courtesy of Update 7. We've already dealt with the FV301, we dealt with the Vickers Cruiser. Let's have a look at this little beastie now. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz and we're looking at this tank, the Vickers Light 105, the new British Tier 10. That's the rendering of it in Armour Inspector and as you can see it's a funky looking tank. But let's jump straight into those stats as you can see, damage output about 350, high end alpha, rate of fire 8.5 rounds a minute, penetration's pretty good, armor's not too bad, speed is spectacular and rotation is, is rather good also. Let's have a look at the more detailed stats. As you can see there, hit points 1,800. Armor, it's not too bad. I mean, that front turret is pretty good, but so is the hull. It's, uh, it, will, it will bounce. View range is pretty good, 320 meters. Concealment's not bad, after all, it is a light tank. DPM, just shy of 3,000, realistically. Reload time is just over seven seconds. Penetration, not bad. Look at that, 250, 319, wow. Average damage, uh, it, it's not churning out loads. Aim time, three seconds. And the gun depression is 10 degrees, like the other two. Speed-wise, it's no slouching tiger. I mean, look at that, it's pretty nippy. As for the others, this is my typical consumable loadout because I want that extra bit of speed and that extra ammunition load time. Same with the provisions. I want the crew and the engine to be at its maximum performance. Same goes with the equipment slots. Pretty much the same as what I did on the other tanks. Looking at the armour, this is it in Armour Inspector, and as you can see, it, the, the front glacius plate and the front of the turret looks pretty nice. Not rock solid, but solid enough. When I stick it in against an E100, however, this is what you see. Um, it's going to be penned pretty easily. But, funnily enough, you can bounce it, especially if you wiggle that turret like that. What's it like to play? Well, I think it's fantastic. This is me on my main account rolling out in my first battle, and that gun depression is just beautiful. I mean, it is a nice tank. Now, I did like... Oh, bloody Sheridans. Now, I did like the Tier 8, and I did like the Tier 9, and you know what? I like this one too. I think this one is also pretty nice. Now, I struggled with ping when I rolled out in this. In fact, both of the replays I'm going to show you, I struggled with ping. But the penetration's good. Okay, I was hitting heat there because I wanted to hit a mouse and I couldn't be bothered to change the ammunition. I should have changed it to HE, but I was just lazy. I like this tank. Um, okay, I'm not really playing it as a light at the moment. I'm just playing it as a nuisance, which suits me to the ground. Um, because at the end of the day, that gun depression is there to be abused. And boy, did I abuse it in this game, holding this ridge for a time being. Although, I do get bored up here. But excuse the Discord, I couldn't help that. Everybody decided to Discord me at the same time whilst I was uh, rolling out in this battle. It's it's one of those things. So, I've had the ridge for long. There's no nothing here anymore, to be perfectly honest with you. So I can see the mouse is going to make a break down there. I should be able to get a shot into his side because penetration and everything's great. Look at that. Boom. There we go. Now I can look at the FV. He's trying to make a push. Bit of a silly move, to be fair, but I'm going to punish him for it. Well, I'm not going to punish him that much, unfortunately. I just uh, couldn't load in time before he got out of the trouble. The E100, well, he worries me more, so I'm not going to be able to pen him unless I switch to heat and I'm not going to be able to hurt him so getting out of there I still got heat loaded why because I'm a muppet and I completely forgot to rechange my ammunition so I'm pramo spamming which was not the intention I finally realized that I've got heat loaded and I needed a PCR the thing I like about this tank is its maneuverability okay it's not the fastest tank on the battlefield but it is pretty forgiving I mean you can drop the boost like I've done here, and I can get around this corner and I can give the FV a hard time, like I'm going to do. And there we go. Give him 355, and then another smack to get rid of him. Again, I should have changed to heat, but I wanted to make sure of the kill. Sorry, HE, but I wanted to make sure of the kill. Hello, Sheridan. Goodbye, Sheridan. And this is what I like about this tank. It's like a Leo 1 sort of, I had an affair with a bat chat, and this is the love child that was produced. 
insofar as basically what you've got, you've got an insanely accurate gun and pretty good mobility. And if you have got good mobility. I mean, look, look at the turning circle on this thing. I mean, you can just throw it around the battlefield pretty nicely. Not only that, it actually has got some armour. I mean, I got smacked by a Sheridan and some other things. You can see I've still got more than half my hit points. More than enough to take on anything. But the game's finished. I only do 2,174 damage. Take three kills. Not setting the world on fire. But I get a first class for my troubles in my first game in it. I like it. I think it's a great tank. This is me when it first came out rolling out on the press account in Asia. Now, you'll have to excuse the quality of the replay because... We were getting ping spikes of up to 2,000 when I was playing this game. But it, you can understand what's going on here with the tank. Again, I'm holding a ridge, and this is what you can do in this thing. You can hold a ridge because it's got 10 degrees of gun depression. It's got pretty decent load time. It's actually quicker than the Tier 8 version. And you've got really nice alpha. Okay, you're not knocking out shed loads of alpha, but you're knocking out alpha, and you're knocking it out in a pretty quick amount of time. And I, you know, I like this tank. I think all three of these tanks are absolutely spectacularly well done by Wargaming, and big thumbs up for them on coming out with these three, because they really have brought a breath of fresh air to the game. Seriously, I mean... As I keep saying in the other videos, I'm not the best lights player. In fact, you know, it's one of my problems. Why? Because I sit in Dubai and my ping generally isn't the best no matter what server I am on. Yet, I found the I found this one slightly easier to play than the Bat Chat. It's um, because it's not a clipper. And whilst you've got a good turn of speed, it is more like a medium type tank rather than a, a full on light. And as I said before, I mean, this is what realistically the Sheridan should have been as well. And unfortunately, it wasn't because they gave it silly missiles. Now, I like this tank. And I think if you, if you like your meds and your lights, especially your lights, then you're going to love this. It's a good mixture of both. As I said, it's a cross between a Leo one with the gun and the accuracy and a bat chat with the speed, concealment and mobility. And that is what I like about the tank. It's the love child of those two. You're getting almost the best of both worlds out of them. And you know, I can't knock this tank. I, I, I've loved every second I've gone out in it. Thing is, is it noob friendly? Well, yes and no. It's more forgiving, as I said, than a bat chat. And more forgiving than the Sheridan. However, you really have to be careful in it. Because it does have very poor armour to be honest with you most things are going to be able to pen you you will get a few bounces when you hold down but if your team lets you down or if you put it in the wrong place then you're gonna have a bad time let's face it but i loved it i think it's fantastic again not setting the world on fire 3188 bounce 1260 took four kills got a lovely mastery anyway I've been Fujit. That has been the Vickers Light 105, the British Tier 10, which is now in the tech tree. So, if you haven't got it, get your grind on, because it's a beautiful little tank. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't yet pressed subscribe, please do so. It's a lovely thing to do. Costs you nothing. Makes me happy. As always, big shout out to my subscribers, because without you, these videos would be meaningless. And a massive shout out to my Patreons, who without you, not only would they be meaningless, they'd be bloody difficult to do as well. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com, or post them to my Discord server. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.